Welcome everyone to Jesus with Just Commentary. So I'm going to check out part two of the Royal Chet Ralada project. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this video. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to Jesus with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Don't forget to always leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. From His Majesty the okay. King's private funds. Yeah, that's where we stopped. Okay, so we're we'll going into the next. Project are able to use the alcohol obtained from agricultural products or wastes to turn out many products, including wow. gasohol and diesel. Gasohol. By mixing the alcohol with gasoline and diesel oil, respectively. What? For use as fuel. <laughs> wow. Considering the high cost of producing diesel hull for diesel engines, research was subsequently carried out on the production of biodiesel from vegetable bio -diesel. Or animal oil left over from household use or pa, the food pa. industry. This is something else. Of cold water production by means of heat energy yes, look at her, the queen's sister. Sorry, the king's king's sister. I think this is her. A byproduct of the Jitlada experimental rice. The king's sister, I believe. From which the energy serves to produce cold water through a machine using an absorption system. <laughs> wow, efficient use of everything. It's used for operating the air conditioners of the Sala Maha Mongkon. What? For the visitors and everything for the is being utilized efficiently. Wow. Further, his Nothing goes to his. received a solar energy house along with various kinds of equipment for the study of solar, solar energy, energy house and electricity generation. In addition, wow. a wind turbine was presented to His Majesty, equipped for the study of the use of wind energy to generate electricity. Wow. Making good use of every single natural resource available. That is how it should be done. The research and development work of the Royal Jitlada projects Chitlada. includes study, research, Chitlada. and dissemination of knowledge concerning vegetable and food processing. Cocoa and banana. As well as promoting the consumption of vegetable and food. And products. you guys showed me a picture, or uh, someone showed me a picture on Facebook of the royal symbol, so that you could identify what product came from the royal project. Using the old pasteurizer from the milk collection center which had been in service for many years, but was still working well. Wow. The plant conducted experiments on the pasteurization of fruit juices, of which the prices were low at that time. I'm telling you, nothing is going to waste. Fruit juice production process. The Royal that's, projects have that's her, the I'm quite sure, yeah, that's the king's sister. To demonstrate the production of high quality sterilized fruit juices. I'm also loving the fact without preservatives that they're using every human resource available, not just machine. Canned rice porridge. Canned rice porridge. Wow. Moreover, there are studies of the possibility of manufacturing various dehydrated food products. Canned rice porridge. Nothing goes to waste. Dehydrated fruits or remnants of the fruits are utilized in manufacturing food cookies and cakes, giving rise to a bakery activity that can now turn out <laughs> time to What? This in is addition, just beyond me. Purchases for packaging and distribution, honey produced by bees raised by beekeepers cooperatives. There are other research activities aimed at the This is so amazing. I am just loving the fact that nothing goes to waste. Everything is used. From rice milling can be utilized in many ways. Rice husk is sent to the rice husk grinding plant for compressing and heating to produce husk briquettes, which can be further turned into <laughs> husk charcoal. My gosh! As substrate in mushroom growing, the mushroom culture plant uses a byproduct from the rice mill mixed with sawdust from para rubber wood. That's for what plants? Experiments have been conducted on the culture of local mushroom. Later on, the Royal Chitlada projects occupied the culture of lingxi mushroom, as well as studies on the processing of various types of lingxi mushroom products. 
this is just so awesome began with the study of the possibility of utilizing for the purpose wastewater from the biogas production process using cow dung. I like when they say waste, waste. So it's like a normal, um, in other countries they would normally throw it away because it's waste. But in Thailand they're trying their best to recycle, reuse, reduce everything as possible. The research was further expanded to include spirulina algae culture in clean water and the use of the algae to produce food supplement capsules and <laughs> spirulina flavored crackers. Ah ah the organic it's like... fertilizer plant carries out yes. on the process of producing compost seaweed? from various agricultural waste. Oh I can see what there. Well yes, this one activators for the decomposition. Such as this one makes sense from alcohol production or various wow. of microorganisms. Look at nice sort of plant boy. Look at nice sort of plant. Has been developed to facilitate the use of organic fertilizer. Yeah, that's it. That's the stamp or the logo of the Royal Project. What was on the back there? And the crafts. One In of Thailand's to the best agricultural activities. The Royal Chitada Project also undertakes some activities concerning handicrafts. Wow. The Royal Candle Factory purchases from beekeepers cooperatives the wax with which it manufactures beeswax candles <laughs> for use in the Nothing world. is wasted! On his I'm telling you, there is... Reduce the national budget allocated for candle purchasing. There is the nothing wasted! Royal ceremony. Hey, I have to visit. I have to visit Chetlada when I come to uh, when I come to Thailand. I need to visit this project. This is just. Moreover, there are studies about saw paper production, including dissemination of knowledge on various Thai handicrafts at the saw paper factory. Saw paper this factory mm -hmm. was built on the occasion of Her Majesty the Queen's 60th birthday anniversary. Wow, this one, the Queen. 1992, that's just. So after I was born. Yeah, that's like the year after I was born. Natural, so, so, so. Definitely, I know this is gonna be interesting because so far nothing goes to waste. Natural resources conservation. Studies have been undertaken on plant species cultivation and the use of the plant tissue culture technique for the conservation and propagation of various rare plants wow. such as the Paisan Taksin jackfruit, rattans, and orchids. This is this amazing. Subsequently led to the establishment of the Plant Genetic Conservation Project. On the Royal Highness Princess wow. Bahia Sidon Torn's initiative with the objective of collecting and conserving rare plant species, as well as promoting among the local communities at large the conservation of natural resources. Out of his wish for the Royal Jitlada project to serve, study, experimentation, wow. and demonstration purposes. His Majesty the King has graciously given permission for all interested people to visit the project and yes! observe their operation exactly. as well as to receive training so that they could acquire the knowledge that they could Wow, I'm telling you, I know where I'm going to visit for sure. I know where I'm going to visit for sure. Amazing. Have been visited by a large number of royalties from various countries. Wow. Groups of important persons civil servants, school and university students, farmers, as well as interested members of the general public, both wow. local and international. That is just a great, great initiative, man. Such a great However, project. The Royal Jitlada projects are but a reflection of His Majesty the King's resolute determination to devote his mind, intellect, and physical strength to perform such a wise for the king and happiness of the time. I mean, of this is a very wise king. A resolution to which he nothing goes to waste. His he tried his best to ensure that everything was done efficiently. This is what 
kings and queens have to do. It's not just about having plenty of resources and wasting it and living a luxurious lifestyle. It's about doing for the people. The great monarch, who is the strength of the land. The great monarch, the strength of the land. Wow. That was a good video, guys. Thank you so very much. Of course, yes, that right there, that's a symbol. That's a symbol I have to look out for if I'm going to buy a product in Thailand or if a product comes from Thailand to see if that's there. And then I will know for sure that's from the Royal Project. I'm telling you, this is such an efficient, efficient king who made use of everything. And that's how we should be in this world because, you know, if we don't try our best to make good use of everything around us, we're going to waste and throw away a lot of stuff. So I love the fact that they recycle, they reuse, they reduce, they just try their best to get one product from another and then the waste of one product they use it in another and the waste of one product they use it in another. That was very good. Of course guys, I would love to thank you very much for subscribing to Judas with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye guys.